and needed some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, make sure to head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and most reliable coins on the market right now. Head on over to Buy Madden Coins and use code PULA at checkout for 20% off your order. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, I'm going to go over the top 10 most overpowered players you need in Madden 20 right now. Now, guys, you're probably going to be seeing this video sometime next week when I'm in Spain already. So, if some new stuff came out between now and then. It might be like a player missing. Now, I'm going to be probably posting this before Team of the Year starts. So, I don't think that this list will be anywhere affected by that. But anything after Team of the Year, this list will probably be changing. So, I'll probably have another one for you coming for you guys shortly after that. Now, Guys, I'm going to be going over all the top players I think you need. Now, there's a few players in here. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give you guys some insights. So I don't think that I'm just telling you the top players. I'm going to give you guys whether or not they'll be there for long. Are they even are they worth picking up at this exact moment? In terms of how long will they be overpowered for? I'm going to give you guys all the details. Don't worry. The only thing I'm just going to say a player and then be like, get him. I'm going to be like, I'll tell you why and what the stats are like. And I'm going to pretty much go over it. Do, you, do I think they'll be worth it for longer than they are now? And then I'll adjust their, their rating on the list accordingly. But guys, before we get into the video... Make sure down below, hit that subscribe button, turn that notification bell, boys. Come join the family. Let's grind out to 20k as quickly as possible. Hopefully, we can get it by the end of February. So let's keep hit, keep hitting that sub button. Come join. Comment down below. Add any players to this list. If you need, feel free to add players to this list at all. Just comment down below. We we'll have like a community list going of people commenting names below that you think should be added. And if you need any help, you have any questions on these players, ask me over on Twitter or down in the comments. And like the video. Can we get 300 likes on this video? That'd be greatly appreciated. Now let's get into this video. So let's go over to number 10. Number 10 is a new. He's not a new addition, but he was moved down the list. Because I don't, I think his reign of being the best player or the best quarterback is coming to a end pretty soon, and that is Michael Vick. Now I had him at number two, but now he's all the way down to number ten, and you'll see why later in the video. But for right now, Michael Vick still a great value, still a great quarterback. At this moment in time, he's probably still the best quarterback in my opinion. He doesn't need dashing dead eye because I'm not gonna lie, he makes every throw on the run that I throw just perfectly. Great throw power. He has every intangible, everything that you need in a quarterback right now. If his mid range acts a little bit better, he'd be even better. But Trust me, he gets the job done. And now, this is one reason why he's not the last guy, the top quarterback anymore, and I'll get I'll go into that later in this video when we get to that next card. But this Michael Vick is still solid, guys. He'll be the best quarterback for probably let's go with about two and a half more weeks. I'll give him about no, about three weeks. I'll give him about twenty days. Twenty days max. He'll be the best quarterback for just about. That's a fair analysis in my opinion. That's number ten though. Not gonna speak too much on him. Next we got on the list a guy that got moved down the list. Actually, because Team of the Year is getting closer, and we're also getting closer to some other promos, and I feel like he's going to get moved down. And that's Terrell Owens. Terrell Owens, Super Bowl, not Super Bowl card, playoff card. His 480, still pretty cheap. One of the best wide receivers in Madden right now. Powered him, chemmed up, pretty unstoppable. But we're getting closer to a few promos, such as Team of the Year, Super Bowl. And that could introduce, like, Keyshawn Johnson, which is going to be a taller version of pretty much Terrell Owens. Uh, we could get a Team of the Year wide receiver. I don't know who they're going to drop in there, but... I think they're going to drop some heat coming in the next few weeks. So wide receiver is going to be moved down because they usually do this. They give us some top wide receiver and they drop a brand new list or they drop a brand new batch of players and they just completely kill all of them. But I do think that he's still a great player. So I can't move him down too much. Lawrence Taylor's end game. I think Lawrence Taylor will probably be on this list all year. He'll just be moved around depending on how new his card is. 445 still a snag. Powered up in Camden, guys. This card gets every single threshold. He will have above 90 everything. He's going to be one of the fastest guys in the field. One of the quickest guys in the field, one of the strongest guys in the field, one of the best run stuffers on the field, one of the best pass rushers on the field, one of the best tacklers, one of the best play rec on the field. I'm telling you, this Lawrence Taylor has the package. He wreaks havoc for me in games. He's actually underrated in terms of how much we actually talk about him anymore. Trust, trust me, he's still overpowered. This guy, you have to probably use your power pass on, which is what I did. Sean Taylor, I used my power pass on his LTD card. One of the best power pass use I've ever had. This card is absolutely amazing. His height combined with his speed, zone, and hit power is unparalleled. Very often, when you get a guy that fast, you don't get good hit power. It's just a fact in Madden. When you get a guy that tall with that zone, you don't get speed. When you get a guy with that much hit power, you don't get zone. And guess what? We have speed, zone, hit power, and height. And that's not to mention he has good catching, good excel, good tackle. He can play man, and he has pursuit. The Sean Taylor is absolutely overpowered, guys. I promise you, if you haven't tried him already, go put out your power pass on him real quick. Just get a feel for him. I'm telling you, you won't regret it. I have not taken him off for quite a while unless something else that I need to power up comes out. For the time being, I'm rocking with him. Next, Randy Moss. He's still sticking around number six. Moved him up a little bit, actually, for the time being. His price is a little bit cheaper. Now, you can use your power pass on him as well. That's why he's kind of up there. 295 is definitely have a great place in this list because they can be free for you if you want to use them that way. Still going to be one of the fastest receivers, height, and catching combo. Like I said, like I said in the other thing, when a receiver is that tall, they're not fast. When a receiver is that tall, they can't route run. Randy Moss, powered up and chemed up, will have every stat above a 90. 
Gonna be one of the best route runners in Madden. Gonna be one of the best catchers in Madden. And gonna be probably one of the fast wide receivers in Madden while being one of the tallest wide receivers in Madden. Randy Moss is a complete package. Always has, always will be, which is why he's always a glitch in Madden. I highly recommend you pick up Randy Moss. Now, how long will Randy Moss be good for? The rest of the year. So, so far on the list, Randy Moss will be good for the rest of the year because he will get an ultimate legend. Sean Taylor, same thing. Lawrence Taylor, same thing. Owens and Vic, same thing. They're gonna all be on, they're all gonna be top players for the rest of the year, but I'm saying for the time being, I think that Vic will be shot off this list as well as Owens for a little bit. I think Moss probably won't ever come off this list. Now, coming in at number five is why Vic is moved down. Lamar Jackson is about to become a god. I'm not joking, guys. Lamar Jackson's scaring me. I cannot wait for the evolution of Lamar Jackson. So, listen to this. Lamar Jackson is one upgrade away from being one of the greatest quarterbacks you ever had in Madden, right? What does Vic have over him right now? Vic has throw power. I mean, realistically, it's throw power and deep accuracy. That's where Lamar struggles. <clears throat> Lamar's faster. Lamar's only not faster because he has three speed boosts on him. The next Lamar is going to be faster than this Vic. Gonna have similar throw power to this Vic. Gonna have way better short accuracy than this Vic. Gonna have way better medium accuracy than this Vic. Gonna have almost the same deep accuracy as this Vic. Gonna have way better throw under pressure than this Vic. Gonna have a similar throw on the run, as well as a great play action. Now, Lamar Jackson, this next card, this he's, it's probably gonna be his MVP card. This next MVP card is going to be Vic, but better and faster. He's gonna get like every single cam we need to get. And if he's a 98 overall MVP, it means he's gonna be a 99, which he could probably get human joystick. This next Lamar is going to be, if he gets human joystick or dashing dead eye, he's gonna be the greatest quarterback I've ever played with in Madden. And that is why you gotta start, I already have him. As you guys can see, people are already prepping for that. They already have him powered up. Look at, look how expensive he is. People know he's about to break the game. They're ready for it. That's why I didn't power mine down. That would have been stupid. I kept mine, I held on to him. People already are getting ready for this new Lamar Jackson. He's gonna break the game. I highly recommend if you have a power pass 93, use it on Lamar and get him ready because he's going to be absolutely unreal when the card does come out. He's probably gonna be his MVP card. We already know. Next on the list, the guy that's gonna be on here all year. I love this card. I love me some Deion Sanders. Deion Sanders is Mutt. This NFL 100, Mutt Deion Sanders. Great card. Super fast. Like, he can do it all. The only thing he can't do is press. That's the one thing I'll give you. He can't press. But powered up and chemical, guys, he ends up with like a 98 man coverage, like a 94 zone, 97 speed, 97 excel. This card just can do it all. And the best part about him is that he's all over the field. Like, he's, whatever you think, whenever you see a pass, you're like, damn, he's not going to make it. He will either get there and just get his hand in to stop it. He'll get there and just break up the pass, or he'll actually pick it off like some one handed over the top diving pick. Makes crazy plays. Throw Acrobat on this guy. He's a GOAT. I'm telling you, Deion Sanders, a must-have card every year. He also can play offense for you, so there's not much more to that than that. One guy above him that I don't think will be above him for much longer. I mean, no, actually, he'll be above him for a little bit, only because he's slightly better right now, and I don't think Deion will get another card for like at least a month and a half. But the next Deion card is going to go ham. But Champ Bailey's amazing, too. Champ Bailey's like, I, I always call him Baby Deion, but right now he's really close to Deion. Powered up and chemmed up, Champ Bailey's going to have about the same speed, about the same excel, the same agility, about the same jumping. Better play rec, better man, uh, same zone, and then way better press. So pretty much, Powder and Kemper, they're going to be almost the same card, except for it. Champ's going to be a way better guy, man. He's going to be way better, man, because he's going to have like a 99 man. As well as the press. The press is huge. He's going to be able to be physical. You put him with Dion and like Night Train Lane or Mel Blunt, you're going to have a crazy great group of cornerbacks, as well as Champ Bailey has that special that Dion has, which is the ability to return kicks return interceptions and be athletic and be an athlete like that's one thing a lot of cornerbacks don't have and Deion sanders and champ are exceptionally great at doing so now this guy just got put on this list at number two you guys told me about him i don't know how i didn't put him on the last list that is patrick willis this new patrick willis card is probably the best middle linebacker in madden right now now guys i don't anticipate that he's going to be this expensive for that long so i wouldn't recommend you guys buy him for this price he's got to be on this list but he's crazy expensive right now he should come down team of the year but right now guys you really can't argue with that Compared to our Ryan Chazier, he's faster, he's quicker, he's way stronger, he's a better tackler, he's a better play rec, way better block shot, way better hit power, and just no zone, but if you use him, you're fine. Six foot one, guys, you just can't argue with this. He's like the fastest user linebacker, or at least tied for the fastest user linebacker, with the strength of a lineman, with the block shot of a lineman, with the play rec of a cornerback, with the hit power of a safety. Guys, this card is overpowered. He can do everything. He can hit. He's a perfect user linebacker. He has top end speed, great height, great quickness, great hit power, and great block shot. If you run, if you try to um, use her up the gap and you get stuck on something, you can block shot right off, or you can just click off him and he'll block shot for himself. This card's overpowered. You gotta have Patrick Willis on this list. And coming in at number one, 
This guy probably won't believe this. I don't even know if Team of the Year will not come off this list because he did. They make this card always so overpowered that you really can't you can't adjust to it. Bo Jackson. I don't know if Team of the Year will not come off this list because I last year Team of the Year running back the best running back was Todd Gurley ninety eight and Todd Gurley ninety eight had like a ninety five speed, <clears throat> which would tie this. So they'd have to drop a running back close to. I don't think Dalvin Cook if they did him or Derek Henry will have that speed. It's gonna be hard to compete. Maybe, but Derek, this Bo Jackson fully powered up and chemmed up as you see on my team. With all my chems and everything on him, he has like a 97, 98 speed, 95 excel, 95 agility, 97, I think he's like a 98 carrying. So first off, the beauty of him is that when you get a running back that fast, he typically has no power and no carry, like Barry Sanders. This guy has the best carry in the game while being the fastest in the game, while having being the strongest in the game, while being crazy elusive, crazy good juke move, crazy good everything, just everything. Like There's nothing he can't do. He can kick return, he can jump. 96 truck, 90 stiff, 90 spin, 92 juke, and you can get power back abilities and evasive abilities, guys. To GG. Bo Jackson, best card in the game. I don't think Team of the Year can knock him off. I don't think a running back can knock him off, at least until maybe NFL Honors, if that Christian McCaffrey gets the crazy card. And even then, I don't think it'll be enough. I think Bo Jackson might be the best running back for at least another month. And if not the best, would be a top three running back for at least a month. You have no worries holding on to him for a while. But guys, that's about it for the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys did enjoy. Make sure to like the video. Let's get 300 likes in this video. Comment down below if you need any help or if you need to comment down below any cards you think should be in this list. And subscribe to the channel. Turn on that notification bell. Come join the family. I'm out. See you in the next video. Peace.